In today's video, I want to give you guys an update on a potential huge PlayStation 4 or even a PlayStation 5 game in development. It looks like a new Resident Evil game is in the works by Capcom, and we'll give you guys the update on that. No Man's Sky is going to get its next major update with No Man's Sky. Beyond that, it'll be dropping August 14th, and I want to go over all of the information on that as it is the next major free expansion No Man's Sky, which has consistently been becoming a better game over the last few years. The Outer Worlds is one of the more anticipated games of 2019's fall season, and this is gonna be the last game from Obsidian that we see on PlayStation, at least that is the word. And Obsidian has showcased how choices matter with a quest walkthrough in the conflicted town of Edgewater. We'll talk that at the end of this video. First up, Capcom is recruiting Resident Evil ambassadors to test game currently in development. Now, we weren't getting given any idea as to what this game could be, but it was noted, Capcom's Division 1 responsible for developing the Resident Evil and Devil May Cry series has sent out a recruitment email to Resident Evil ambassadors based in Japan in search of game testers. Details are highly vague, but the test will be conducted on either September 8th or September 9th, and that one must be a Resident Evil ambassador and a person who has played the series to what extent is not stated. Specifically, the letter says this, to all Resident Evil ambassadors, thank you for your patronage regarding the Resident Evil series. Today, we are letting you know that we are recruiting testers for a game that's in development. We are interested in incorporating the feedback of all ambassadors into our development, so please read the details below, and if you are interested in participating, click the entry button. Now, if they're taking insight from ambassadors and implementing that into development, that would make me think that development of this game is still pretty early on, and it wouldn't be coming out for a little bit. And I highly doubt that a game like this would be dropping early 2020, and at this point, if any game is not coming out early 2020, and it's even being suggested for a later release in 2020, either it's going to be a PlayStation 5 game or it's going to be a cross-generation game. Given that Resident Evil has already done so well this generation and we've gotten significant Resident Evil releases with Resident Evil 7 as well as Resident Evil 2 Remake, we got Revelations 2. I feel like we've gotten our fix of Resident Evil out of this generation that if they don't want to release any more Resident Evil games this generation and they want to move the IP to next-gen platforms or make them cross-generation games, I am completely fine with that and honestly that's what I would be calling for at this point. I have no idea what this game could be. It could be a Resident Evil 3 remake. It could be Resident Evil 8. I would personally like them to go with Resident Evil 8 next just because I think it's time for us to see a brand new Resident Evil game. We just got a remake in RE2. Let the remake train simmer a little bit. And then maybe going forward, you could alternate between releases of brand new Resident Evil games, and then you could also release remakes. I would love to see a Resident Evil 4 remake as well. I mean, I know that game visually still holds up relatively well today. However, I would like to see that game be built ground up for a next generation platform, running at 4K, 60 frames per second, whatever the case may be. I think that would be tremendous, but that's just something I'm hopeful for. Nonetheless, it does look like Capcom has more Resident Evil projects in the works. Now, if Capcom could just work on a brand new Mega Man game that would make me very happy but nonetheless hopefully sooner rather than later on that okay next up no man's sky is about to get its next major expansion with no man's sky beyond that'll be out on august 14th and it's adding a ton of new content sean murray the founder of hello games has an in-depth post over on the playstation blog and i do want to read some of it to you guys so you have an idea of what to expect he know hello everyone we know that there is a lot of hunger out there for news and updates on no man's sky we're very excited to be able to share more information from behind the scenes our next chapter no man's Sky Beyond is coming on August 14th. That's very soon. Beyond will contain three major updates rolled into one larger free release. These changes are a mix of features we've been dreaming of for a while and a reaction to how we have seen folks playing since the release of Next. While in No Man's Sky, you have an infinite universe to explore. We know that the moments players talk about the most are coming across another traveler at random and adventuring together or landing on a new planet only to discover the remnants of another explorer's habitat. Watching these moments has inspired us to create and expand an online experience which will bring a radical new social and multiplayer experience which empowers players everywhere in the universe to meet and play together. While this brings people together like never before and as many recognizable online elements, we don't consider No Man's Sky to be an MMO. It won't require a subscription, won't contain microtransactions, and this update will be free for all existing players. Meanwhile, VR support will bring the entire game experience to life in virtual reality. Grab the joystick and thruster to fly your starship over an unexplored alien planet as you peer out of the cockpit at the view 
below. Reach into your backpack to grab your multi-tool, touch it to switch to terrain manipulation, and carve out intricate shapes with unprecedented control, play in multiplayer, and casually wave your non-VR friends or fist bump your PSVR peers. Anything possible in No Man's Sky, Next, or any other update will soon be ready and waiting as an immersive and enriched VR experience. Beyond will be our most ambitious chapter so far and something we've been working ridiculously hard on. We'll continue to support No Man's Sky in this way for the foreseeable future. We look forward to sharing more in the coming weeks. There's a bunch more to talk Talk about and we can't wait for you to join us on August 14th. So this update is going to be absolutely huge and what I find very surprising is they noted we'll continue to support No Man's Sky in this way for the foreseeable future. Well in this way means massive updates and once again massive updates that are free of charge. I just don't know how sustainable a business model like that is for going into the long term future. Yes No Man's Sky launched as a train wreck and they kind of owed it to the consumer to update the game a lot and I think with No Man's Sky Beyond this game is finally becoming what it should have been at launch. I think it really was starting to see that with some of the previous updates like with No Man's Sky Next, but Beyond is adding VR support which so many people wanted and it's adding a robust online experience as well that so many people have wanted. How they're financially keeping this game alive, I'm really not sure. Maybe it's because so many people are actually buying the game now and with every update, it's almost like a little bit of a re-release for the game and they've been discounting the game. Maybe a ton of people are jumping on board and buying the game. I know anecdotally, I can definitely say that has been the case. I don't know in the bigger picture how that's been. They haven't released financial details or sales details or anything like that. And considering this game wasn't released originally three years ago, I wouldn't really expect them to do that. But nonetheless, really cool to see Hello Games stay committed to No Man's Sky. And I'm excited to see where this game can go in the future. I think as far as this release goes, PlayStation VR support is something that I've wanted to see out of No Man's Sky. Going back to the first time I saw the game, I believe back in like 2014 or 2015, I saw that game and I was like, man, this would be an incredible game to play with VR support. At that point, I don't even believe the PlayStation VR headset was out. And it was all just hypothetical thinking in my head. But at this point, the PSVR headset has been out for quite a while. It's built up a high quality and a high caliber roster of games. And now we have No Man's Sky being added into the fray as well. Some of these games that just get PlayStation VR support added in the future, like a Wipeout Omega Collection and now a No Man's Sky, they sometimes become the most enticing VR options available. And as long as you have the base game, of course, VR support is free when it comes to No Man's Sky Beyond. So that is incredibly exciting. All right, lastly, I do want to give you guys a heads up on the Outer Worlds and the PlayStation blog has a in-depth post on that as well from Brian Hines, senior designer over at Obsidian Entertainment and why I'm so excited for this release is because it does look like that this will be the last Obsidian game that's released on the PlayStation 4. They are being acquired by Microsoft. I don't know if there's going to be some sort of agreement worked out. Whatever the case may be, the Outer Worlds is shaping up to be a high quality game and the blog post notes Edgewater is a backwater settlement located in the region of Emerald Vale. Owned and operated by Spacer's Choice, the people of Edgewater are hardly loyal company folk who devoted to working in the town's Saltuna canning facility until the day they die at which point they're buried in the local Spacer's Choice Cemetery. Provided they've paid their burial fees, the Spacer's Choice family takes care of its own. Your path will lead you to the geothermal plant where you'll have to navigate around or confront various patrolling security bots and ultimately decide the fate of Edgewater and the deserter. There are many ways to resolve this quest and the options and possibilities you discover are very much at the core of Outer Worlds. I skipped a lot of that because there's a lot to go over. I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description box below. The Outer Worlds is a game that I'm really excited for. Unfortunately, on the PlayStation 4, we have to pay a full $59.99 for the game, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. I think the game is absolutely going to be worth that. However, luckily to Xbox One players and PC players, this game is going to be a part of the subscription service in Game Pass. With Microsoft and Obsidian being in bed together now, I can see why a deal like that was very easy to come together. But unfortunately for us on the PlayStation 4, the Outer Worlds is going to be a full $60 purchase and that's a little bit of a bummer but I do hope that we get a high quality experience out of the game and that's what I do expect. Do keep in mind that Obsidian were the guys that brought you Fallout New Vegas, the game that many would consider to be the best game in the entire Fallout franchise and that's saying a lot. I'm not here to get into that debate right now but you can definitely make an argument that it's the best game in this series and the Outer Worlds definitely has some elements of that game and I am very excited for it. When I look at this fall lineup of games, I look at games like Borderlands 3 and Death Stranding being those two really notable games that I think everybody's going to pick up you have the usual yearly releases like a call of duty and all of the sports games then you have tom clancy's ghost recon breakpoint but i think outer world could be one of the more surprising releases come this fall and the release isn't all too far off it will be dropping october 25th and that's gonna conclude this video again it looks like some sort of new resident evil game is in development let's hope that it's a big budget re title and not some mobile
mobile game. Hopefully a Resident Evil 8 as it's been quite a while since the release of Resident Evil 7. No Man's Sky's free update and expansion and beyond will be due out on August 14th. That is adding PlayStation VR support, a more robust online experience, and much more. And The Outer Worlds is due out October 25th. That is a game that could end up surprising a lot of people. Although I know a lot of you guys are already expecting something great out of the game. I think more people need to jump on the hype train. That's going to conclude this video. Do sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.